All right, Where are we going? We're going. Okay, it's time to keep going with uh, Coffee Talk. See what more we can find out of the uh, the story. Welcome. Oh, you're new. Good evening, sir. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I'm from the Federal Immigration Regulation Enforcement Division. Or F-I-R-E for short. How may I how may I help you? We've heard reports of alien sightings in this area. We take the issue of illegally interstellar immigration illegal interstellar immigration seriously. Oscar, come on, buddy, please. Come on, bud, pal. Friend, relax. Have you seen any creatures you would consider to be alien in nature? Hmm. I don't think so. But what should I be looking for? What's the alien look like? We're not 100% sure. But according to some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a space suit or something similar. Hmm, that's a, that's a pretty eye-catching outfit. You think that it'll, you think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? To avoid attention, you know? That is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that we have been running around after false testimonies. <coughs> Already. Jeez, I'm just starting. They are superior creatures, after all. Thank you for the help. If you see any suspicious activities, please contact us through our website. Will do, sir. You don't want to drink anything before leaving? We're good. Take care on your way. Oof. Really need to be more careful, Neil. Huh? Good evening, Jason. Yo. Hello, Miss Aqua, Miss Myrtle. Have you both been somewhere together? We plan to meet here. It's just a coincidence. We arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? Do you want to order first? Nah, you go first. Okay. Can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? Serve it! Your drink's ready. Oh, this looks really fresh. I call this Marrakesh, it, inspired by its origin. Marrakesh, as in Morocco. I heard the people there really love tea. Let's give this a try then. Oh my, it's warm, but very refreshing. No wonder Morocco is, so, is often associated with tea. How about you, Miss Myrtle? You want to order right away? Sure. I'll have the Tataric. TT Milk. Here's your Tataric. Huh? Is there anything wrong? No. It's better than I thought it would be. Actually, the taste is really authentic. Just like the Tataric you get in Southeast Asia? <laughs> why, why did I say that like it was a sentence? Thank you for, your, for the compliment. Where did you learn to make it? I traveled around Southeast Asia a few years ago. So you learned it in Malaysia? Yes, and from videos on the internet. So, um... How are things going in the office? As usual, tiring. But thanks to you and your team, we've made some good progress with the problem we've been stuck on for a while. I'm glad I could be of help. It's not every day your, our research can have an impact as direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication, no less. The thing is, even with your help, we still need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime. 
make sure the game will be available for the holiday season. Oh. I want to say, please don't forget to rest. But I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and the team. Huh. As if those executives care about us. Overtime is not mandatory, they'll say. Let me see your family. Get some rest. But we all know that optional overtime is a passive-aggressive move. We'll stay longer in the office anyway. Because if you go home earlier than the others, you'll feel bad for them. You'll feel guilty. I understand that so much. I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's guilt. I wish I could help you. Or at least say something to boost your morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give you advice about that. For guilt is something that also bothers me a lot. Even for things I shouldn't feel guilty about. You know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry, but it still saddens me to realize that my favorite series was born out of such sacrifice. I'm sorry I ruined the mood for everyone. Don't worry about it, Aqua. I'm not that bad off, you know. At least the company gives us decent compensation. Healthcare, bonuses, and so on. And we're already used to this. So don't you worry about me, okay? Getting used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be a norm. Hey, cheer up. Remember, your research helped us out a lot. Thanks to you, the rest of the development is going to be much easier. How's your day? How's your game going, by the way? Actually, I have some good have some good news about it. What is it? The game got approved to be showcased at Max West this year. Oh gosh, that's really good news. Congrats. Thank you. So, what's the problem then? I haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer. Why? Confirm it fast before they give your spot to another indie. I I'm just not sure about it. What's stopping you? Asked. The booth is free for indies. That's good then, and the event's even in Seattle. You don't need to spend anything on travel or accommodation. It's a golden ticket. But I'm not that confident. You passed the selection process, right? That should be enough validation to reassure you of the game's quality. If I'm not mistaken. The judges are usually prolific people in the industry. And also senior journalists. I know. But I've told you about my game, right? It's pretty non-traditional. And thousands of people will be visiting Max, expecting Full Metal Conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know. And you'll be in the indie area. People know what to expect there. Gamers aren't stupid. What if some haters visit the booth? What if they don't like my game and say bad things about it? Or about me? That's not gonna happen. It's an expo, not the internet. People are way nicer in real life. Ugh. Even after all that, I'll still be there by myself for the whole event. Hmm. That is a problem. But that one is a problem, yeah. Meeting that many people is already scary enough. Doing it for four days straight. Showing my baby to the public. I just can't imagine the horror. You know what? Huh? So far, my schedule is pretty empty around that. If things stay that this way until Max, I'll come with you. Well, no, you don't have to do that. Even if you're free, then. You shouldn't waste your time on me. Relax or something. Ah, it's no bother. I'll be going to the event anyway. Might as well come with an exhibitor badge. What about your company's booth? Don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us. Oscar. I can just ask my lead to... Sh I can just ask my lead to skip this year. But... But, but... I'm coming with you. Whether you like it or not. Oh, okay. Good. Now, what are you going to show the... Now, what are you going to show the game on? I'll have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the expo build ready? Expo build. I'm not planning to showcase the full version, right? <laughs> That's the plan. Don't. I can give you the guidelines on what to have for the expo build. You have the game with you now. It's on my phone. I can send you the build now if you want. Do so. 
Okay. Got it. Now, let's see. Hello, Miss Rachel. Hi, Jason. Hmm. What's wrong? Huh? Nothing. I've just been practicing all day and I'm pretty tired. Are you having a concert soon? Don't tell anyone yet. It'll be announced tomorrow. But I'm gonna I'm going to perform at Couchella next week. They're still adding new performers. Yeah, you might say that those unannounced this late are backups. Oh. But it's still the biggest festival in the country. Yes. I'm excited for that. I think I should celebrate with a special drink. Something sweet. What do you want to order? A sweet hot chocolate. Chaco be Miracu. Here's your drink. Oh, it looks very pretty. And it's warm and sweet. Love it. Please don't hesitate to call me if you need anything else. Thanks. Other than the instruction on the loading screen, try putting a time limit on how long they can play. Why? Wouldn't that break their immersion? Probably, but in case there's a good reaction to it, you might have people line up to play your game. Don't want to make them wait too long. That makes sense. If you don't want to put a time limit on it, try ending the demo with a cliffhanger. That should get people's attention. Noted. Dad! What are you doing here? After what you did at the studio this evening? I was worried I couldn't find you anywhere around the studio. So I thought you'd be here. And now you're causing another ruckus. We're sorry, Jason. We didn't mean to cause you any problems. You... You are sorry? I don't have anything to be sorry for. Well, anyway. I better order something. What do you have? What would you recommend? Might I suggest a cup of Spanish Sahara? Oh, what is that? It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Sounds delicious. It does, actually. Bum, 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 bum. Is that a churro? <laughs> I, I, I know it's a cinnamon stick, but it looks like a churro. Your drink is ready, sir. My, my. This is amazing. Glad you liked it. Dad. Yes. Please just go home after you finish your drink. Not until you leave that good-for-nothing pervert. I need him. He's gonna help me become more successful. I know Morris. He's not a good person. The industry has changed, Dad. It's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since you left, he's been growing his brand, making his name, managing a lot of stars so they become superstars. I still have my informants in the industry. He hasn't changed much. Even if he has, it wasn't for the better. 
Just being paranoid. First you were afraid of how my fans would treat me. Now you're afraid of the industry too. What's next? You lock me in the house because you're afraid I'm in I'm of the air I'm breathing? You're just too young to understand. Then make me understand. Because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from mom? You were together for almost 15 years, but you learned nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. Rachel, I... I'm sorry. But I'm trying, okay? Try harder. Because right now, you're not helping anyone. Not me, not you, no one. I know. Give me a chance. You know what? It'll take time for me to learn. But I a am learning. Or, you know, I could return to the industry. I could try to be your manager. Dad, are you out of your mind? You've been out of touch for so long. I told you I have informants there. I'm not that out of touch. Of course, there are things I need to figure out. But we... It doesn't work that way, Dad. You know that. Going from a girl brand band to a solo career won't be easy. If I take things slow, I'll lose all my momentum. <clears throat> if you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose someone other than Morris? I don't think so. Mr. Lester is at the height of his career now. He's my best chance right now. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I've made my decision. Now, please go home, relax, and don't ever come to the studio again. I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away, and it's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. When are you going to be home? I don't know. I'll be staying at the hotel the label provided. But that's... See you, Dad. Wait, Rachel. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Excuse me for a moment, Jason. I'm sorry about what just happened. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, we were busy minding your own business anyway. What? You didn't hear their argument, Myrtle? Of course I heard them. I just chose to ignore most of it. <laughs> it's none of my business, is it? That's amazing. What's so, ama what's so amazing about that? I don't think I can do that. Dividing my focus, my attention so completely. Especially when there's an argument like that. Are you saying you weren't listening to my advice when, and you were focusing on them instead? Uh, no, I was listening. I made notes. See? <laughs> you didn't even realize. But you are capable of fo focusing your attention. Now that you mention it, it happens naturally, I guess. Being born into a big family is useful after all. <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, yeah, sometimes we don't reali even realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, want to head back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, Jason, we're leaving. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for the drinks, as usual. Please take care on your way home. Oh, I guess that's all for today. Oh, you're back, Mr. Henry. Are you all right, sir? Sir. Oh, yes, yes. Please don't worry about me. Did you manage to catch up with Miss Rachel? No, I lost her. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm sure she's all right. I hope you're right. By the way, pardon me for asking. Yes. Throughout your arguments with Miss Rachel, something kept bugging me. What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? <laughs> now, that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if you if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh no, it's fine. I left around 20 years ago. 
Just as we were welcoming the beginning of the new millennium. It was a great time for girl bands, you know. They were huge in the 90s. They were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. I met my wife while working. She worked for a record label. That's how we met. I decided to get married and settle down. I wanted a peaceful life. You didn't find peace managing girl bands? Oh gosh, no. The politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But what hit me the hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. The teenage girls especially, they were crazy about their idols. To the point where they were starting doing really unimaginable stuff. Like what? Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar lifestyle, abandoning their responsibilities, their families, and the men. They were even worse. They sexualized the girls in every way you could possibly imagine. Edited photos, stalking, outright sexual assault. It was before the internet, mind you. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. I wasn't even the target of the abuse, but it haunted me. It was everywhere. Don't talk to me about peace. I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats. What do you do for a living now? After we got married, my wife and I opened a record store. Not too big. But we have a very specific audience. We're niche, but they love us for it. It's more than enough for our little family. You said you're still in touch with your music, with your friends in the music industry. <clears throat> they visit my place from time to time, and we all meet up at least once a year. Usually it's at my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home too. Are you going to be alright by yourself? Don't worry about me. I'm an old cat. We're stronger than most people think. See you later, Jason. And sorry for bringing your fight to your place. Don't worry about it. Alright then, goodbye. Uh, Freya wasn't there. Coachella organizer reminds parents not to allow their children to attend unsupervised. <laughs> Oh my god, that's the running away from whatever girl from the fucking meme. Rachel Florencia confirmed to perform at Coachella 2020. Kiel Nyman and Maruki Har Harukami to collaborate for new IP. Sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, Neil, you've come very early today. Is there anything I can help you with? There is definitely something you can do. What is it? Can we work here? Excuse me? What? Is it possible for us to work here? But why? We have learned something precious since we first arrived here. Communication is very important on Earth. And Earthlings communicate in a very complicated way. It blows our mind to learn that you need to mix between verbal and nonverbal communication here. Yes, but I can see that your communication skill has improved a, an awful lot since you arrived. That is true, but it is not enough. Some of the biggest lessons about Earthlings we have learned. We have learned them here. This made us think. Instead of focusing on finding a breeding partner, we should focus on learning how to communicate with Earthlings properly. Sounds like a good strategy. That is why we asked you to allow us to work here. Because you want to interact with our customers? That is correct. Hmm, I'm not sure about this. Neil, normally if you're applying for a job on Earth, you have to go through certain processes before you finally get the job. If you get it at all. Oh, let me think this over if you don't mind. I'll let you know tomorrow. Oh no. We are sorry for our spontaneity, but it has to be today. May I know why? Because we are leaving for an event tomorrow. Huh. Okay. 
okay. Thank you. But with one condition. You won't be making any drinks. I'll handle that. Once I'm done, you'll give the cup to the customer. Understood. There are other things that you need to keep in mind. What is that? Dealing with the customers. Some people just come here come here just to chill. They might just they might come just for a drink, work, or to read something. I strongly suggest that you let them be. But always be prepared if they want to talk about anything. How can we know whether people want to be left alone or not? That won't be easy, but you'll be able to judge based on their body language. Nonverbal signs? Yes. That will be very hard for us. Indeed. Don't worry. I'll give you a sign. When you should start talking. Or when you should stop. Thank you. We will need that so much. Well, that's basically all you need, you need to do here. Do we need a special outfit to do the job? Not really. I'll lend you an apron, though. <laughs> to help keep your suit clean. And to differentiate you from the customers. You don't really need more differentiation. But it will make you look more legit for the job. That is a very earthly thi earthling thing to do. It is. Alright then. Are you ready for this? We are. Okay. Let's start the night. Welcome. <laughs> Holy wow. What the hell is happening? Good evening, Miss Freya. Hey, Jason, what's going on here? Well, Neil is working here tonight. I thought I was the one who brought bad news. Never thought this place would be ground zero for an alien invasion. <laughs> it's not that. Neil just, just is just helping out. You've never looked like someone who needs help. There are a few things to clarify, Miss Freya. First, our mission was never about conquering Earth. In fact, it is the other way around. Second, judging from the situation, we are actually the person who is getting help from the barista. Not the other way around. What? We have learned some things since we arrived and we came to a conclusion. Before starting an another breeding mission, we should learn more about how Earthlings communicate. We thought this place was the best place to learn. And you just agreed to this? On one condition, I make the drinks. Neil will only be here to serve and communicate. Fair trade. What's in it for you then? What? You're helping them here. What do you get in return? Now that you mention it, is if there's anything you want from us, please do not he hesitate to ask. Don't mention it. Well, maybe you can be my next story. I can write a, an article about your work here. Freya. If I still need to write for the paper again. What happened? The chief found out. Oh, is that why you didn't come yesterday? Yes. How did she find out? You remember my fateful meeting with the higher-up? In the elevator? Yes. The same thing happened with my chief. They met each other in the lift. And the higher-up mentioned our encounter to her. The chief called me into her office, and things went downhill from there. She realized immediately that it was the reason for my poor performance lately. She didn't like it, of course. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you going to do now? Write the goddamn novel, I guess. And after that? Hope it sells well. If not, I don't know. We don't understand what it is really happening, Miss Freya. But we feel the immense sadness and frustration you feel. How about a warm cup of drink? <laughs> it is on the house. Huh? You allowed to do that? We will pay for the drink. No, it's okay. It's on the house. That was a nice thing to do, Neil. That was the best thing to do according to our senses. It was. So, what do you want to drink, Miss Freya? Your favorite. Our favorite. Anything. I trust you with the decision. I want to make something I haven't made yet.
I like the look of that one. Here is your drink. Especially crafted by the owner of this coffee shop. Well, who else is gonna brew it? Thank you so much for this. I always wondered why your place only served hot drinks. But today, I might have an idea why. How far along are you with the novel? I can prepare a draft in a few days, I think. Now that I really... Now that I don't really need to care about other deadlines. And if I manage to infuse some coffee and creativity into my blood. That sounds doable. <laughs> Even without the caffeine infusion. Excuse me, Miss Freya. We have learned extensively about Earthlings' bodies, about all, all the races. We do not think infusing your blood with coffee would be advisable. <laughs> I'm sorry, Neil. I'm not really in the mood for this sort of conversation. It was just... Neil. Freya wasn't serious about infusing herself with coffee. Oh. We are glad to hear that, then. That was a figure of speech, Neil. Ah. We have heard about that term. It is still very hard to understand your language. It will always be hard. Languages will keep on changing. Understood. At least we are here now to learn the basics of how Earthlings communicate. Miss Freya, if we may ask, ask away. How fast do you write? Not fast enough, apparently. But do you have numbers? Numbers. How many words do you produce per day? Huh. I don't think I have an ex the exact number, but full-time, I should be able to write between three and 5,000 words per day. That's a lot. That's raw. After that, I still need to edit it. I usually end up with about half of what I originally wrote. According to our research, the standard number of words for the thing you need to write is between 50 and, and 100,000. That's right. But for this draft, I don't need to write that much. That is a pleasant information to hear. How many words do you need to write? Let's see. I think it should be around 15,000 words. That's pretty big for a pitch draft. Well, it's Gra Media, the biggest publisher around. If we count based on the number of words, it seems you will like you will be able to achieve your target easily. <laughs> I wish. Writing isn't only about the number of words, Neil. It requires things outside the mere word count. If we only judged writers by their ability to write a large number of words, then we wouldn't have poetry or short stories. That is pretty hard to understand. But we learned beforehand that art is a difficult matter, even for Earthlings. Yep. Earthlings seem to have a fanaticism for things which are hard to understand. From languages to arts? <laughs> right again. But you're not that wrong about writing, you know. Word count is one of the few things you can objectively judge a story by. It's not the most important thing, but it's still up there. So is it still a valid parameter? Definitely. Cool. <laughs> that didn't sound at all like you, Neil. I guess you really are learning something on Earth. Oh, another guest. Good evening, Miss Myrtle. I won't even ask. Except for one thing. Who's making the drinks? I'm still the one responsible for that. Good. Coffee with a little bit of ginger, please. Your order's ready. Not bad. Thanks. You are welcome. What brings you here today, Miss Myrtle? Psst, Neil, some people like... Some people come to a coffee shop just to sit without being disturbed. Oh, that definitely seems to fit Miss Myrtle's visits here. Actually, I'm not here to just sit without being disturbed. Ah? Uh, pardon us. <laughs> I was just training Neil on how to talk with the customers here. I can see that. You're still trying to get laid? Uh, oh, no, we are not. 
We are tasked with learning how Earthlings communicate with each other. Yeah, that's a step in the right direction. One suggestion, if you want to blend in with us. Stop using such formal language. Start talking the way we talk. Start listening the way we listen. Which essentially is not really listening at all. That would be very difficult to achieve, but we will try. Step by step. One small step for you might be a giant leap for your kind. <laughs> that was nicely said, Miss Freya. By the way, Miss Myrtle, now that we know you are not here for your usual activities, are you here for someone then? Yeah. Oh, is it Aqua? Uh-huh. What's the occasion? No special occasion. It's just... I'm sorry. I'm late. I was supposed to leave early, but... but... What is this? What's happening here? I already told the barista lo that the local cops when he's dead. I already told the I already told the barista <laughs> to call the cops when he said he was going to breed here. <laughs> Where's Jason? Miss Aqua, please relax. I'm here. Oh, you're safe. Yes, everything is fine. Oof. Okay. Please let me take a breath. Here, please drink this water. Feeling better now? Yes. I'm sorry. It is alright, Miss Aqua. Everyone has been surprised to see me here. What are you doing here anyway? We are starting to think that we might need to make a recording for the answer to this question. <laughs> you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No problem, Miss Aqua. It is time for our break anyway. So, here's the deal. That's really interesting. Very nice of you to do this, Jason. It's nothing, really. But do you really think one day is enough to learn everything? Definitely not. But we do not want to disturb this place's business for any longer. As if this place cares about business. Besides, we want to travel around the planet more. This coffee shop is a good start. But we cannot limit ourselves to this to just this place. Where do you want to go after this? Couchella. What? What are you going to do at Couchella? According to our research, there are many breedings happening during the Couchella. That is why we decided that the event will be our next target. Well, you're not wrong. But you didn't, didn't you say the baby has to be born out of love? Yes. We noticed that. But we also noticed that we need to know a lot more about earthlings, including the breeding, the breeding manners. That is why we will study Couchella. After that, we will be very ready to breed with so many earth, fe with so many female earthlings. I shouldn't say this, but hell. That sounds like the best plan you've had since you've got here. We know. We also surprise ourselves. But please, Miss Freya, let us stop talking about our plan. We work here today. First, let us return to our spot behind the bar. So our discussion with Miss Myrtle was stopped abruptly. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. What are you two doing here? Together. Er, it's nothing. We're just friends, you know. We just want to hang out and talk about our work. We both work in the same field, remember? Yes, yes, that's it. I don't have that much experience in game development, you see. I thought your research was in computer graphics. Yes, but I've never made a game from scratch before. I was always a bystander. So I've been asking Myrtle for feedback from time to time. Today I wanted to thank her directly, but she arrived first, so I couldn't buy her a drink. Never mind that. I'd refuse it anyway. But... Wait. If you want to thank her directly, does it mean you're done with the game? Excuse me, Miss Freya. It should be your, not your. What? Oh, so you are correcting my grammar now, huh? 
<laughs> it was a slip of the tongue. Okay, I'm sorry. How do you even pick up on that anyway? It's not like what I'm saying is written down anywhere. We just know. Back to you, Aqua. So, you're done with your game? There's quite a lot of things I need to polish and fix, but players can enjoy the experience from start to finish. What kind of feedback do you give people for a video game? That depends on the game. But in Aqua's case, most of my advice was about the pacing, control, and the UI slash UX. <sighs> Must be fun to have finished working on your creation. <laughs> it surely removes some of the weight on my chest. Just to replace it with another weight. I mean, there's still more to come after you're done. I'm not done with my book. I just lost my job. And if I can't finish this draft on time, I'm done. Even after all that. If it doesn't sell well, I'm even more done. Doubly done. I'm sorry to hear that, Freya. But please be more confident. <laughs> I'm even starting to doubt myself. I read some of your short stories, you know. After our first meeting, I subscribed to the Evening Whispers app. And I read some of the stuff you wrote. They're really good, you know. Some of them are better than others, but it's still an enjoyable experience to read them. I'm so excited to check out your book once it's done. You're too kind, Aqua. What you're going through is more or less the same as what Myrtle's going through. So I'm sure you'll both be fine. Ugh. You don't have to talk about it in front of the other people. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. It's just that... Sharing is caring, you know. Okay. Okay. Thank you for thank you for helping me share with other people. <laughs> share. I, I am really sorry. I know. I said thanks already, right? But you put so much emphasis on share. That's sarcasm. I know that. Oof, Aqua. I'm sorry if it sounded that way. But yeah, I kind of get what you're dealing with. Although it's a bit different for me. What's your problem? Burnout. I've been working on something for two years straight. But no one outside the office knows about it. Those who do don't seem to appreciate it at all. I thought Full Metal Conflict had a new game every two years. Yes. I don't really work on them. Not directly. So what do you work on? A secret project. I'll tell you... <laughs> I'll tell you under Frenda. Oh, friend, friend, and it's friend da. All right, I'm not with the paper anymore. Anyway, I'm part of a special team. We're tasked with making a breakthrough in the studio. We need to be able to make a prototype for a new IP, or worst case, another FMC game in a different genre. Isn't it that a dream for job for some people? <laughs> That's what I thought at first. You're a writer, right? Imagine being a writer, but you can't publish anything you write for years. That doesn't sound like a pleasant situation at all. My team has been making pitches, dozens of them, hundreds, thousands. Out of all those countless pitches, only a handful got approved for prototyping. And so far, none of the prototypes have been approved. Ouch. There's only seven of us on the team. The Seven Samurai. That's what they said. But so you haven't released anything for the last two years? Sometimes our team works to support others. When they're going through a crunch cycle, they need to hit an almost impossible target. We jump in. No wonder you folks were considered the Seven Samurai. I guess, yeah. By the way, Myrtle, I just realized. What? Usually developers get their vacation time after fishing a project, right? More or less, yeah. When was the last time you had a vacation? Before I joined this company, I guess. That's like four years ago. Uh-huh. Dude, no wonder you're so burned out. Yes, that's why. You need a vacation. But I can't just take one. You can. In fact, you will do it tomorrow. But tomorrow is... I'm not done yet. You will take tomorrow 
the day after, and another day after off. But where should I go? Don't worry. I'll take care of that. You will. I'm going with you for this long weekend vacation. But what about Max West? Uh, that's not this weekend. Forget about it for now. Hey, hey! Okay. But I can't do it tomorrow. How about starting Friday? It's still a long weekend getaway, right? Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Wow, Aqua. You look like a different person. <laughs> really? I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be. Okay, it's settled then. I need to go home now and prepare for a getaway. I'll come with you. Uh, to my apartment? No, we'll walk together to the bus stop just like last time. Oh, okay then. Everyone, see you next week, okay? Have fun. Take care out there. May you find joy during your vacation. Okay, see you folks later. Vacation, huh? You definitely need one, Freya. I know, but not now. I've got to finish this draft first. As we have said before, you can do it, Miss Freya. Thanks, Neil. Anyway, are you going to close anytime soon? Depends. Why? I'm in the mood for some writing. Then please, take your time. You sure? You want another drink to be going on with? Still on the house. I definitely won't say no. Green tea latte, both sweet and savory, with a hint of bitterness for the heart. <laughs> Friday. Who are we going to see today? The Evening Whispers is, in, is with the people for stricter gun laws. New Healthier Fury Sedative might be available sooner. Action video game Rising Hell blame for violence in school. <coughs> Welcome. Good evening, Mr. Bailey's. Evening. Uh, give me just two seconds. Be right back. Am I the first customer tonight? <laughs> you are. That's new. Ray is not here? She said she's coming later tonight. Got something to do with meeting some fellow writer friends. Why not do it here? It's your favorite place, Ryan. <laughs> Her friends have visited this place from time to time. Just not as much as her. <laughs> writers gathering, huh? I wonder what writers talk about when they're hanging out. I have known them for some years now. She has this habit, you know. If she said they're 
friends. It means they're just hanging out normally. But if she said that they were, if she said that were writer friends, they're probably talking about work, either giving each other feedback on their latest drafts or sharing and validating ideas. Interesting. <clears throat> they even use code words for meeting up. Oh, it's not like that. She doesn't even realize that's what she says. I just picked up on it. That's even more interesting. Are you always so observant? It's part of the job. <laughs> Why is that? People come here every day. Some of them aren't as talkative as others, but their body language can be loud and clear. They can tell you a lot of things. Whether they need a familiar, a friendly ear, or just want to be left alone. <clears throat> it applies to what they're ordering as well. Because, you know, sometimes what people want is not what they need. That's deeper than I would have thought. So what are you making for reading for me right now? <laughs> what are you reading for me now? I won't say. Why? That would break the chart. <laughs> the hell was that? I guess I can say this much. Whatever I say or do to our customers. It's always related to what I'm getting from their body language. Including our interaction now. Including our interaction now. Man. Now I see why you didn't want to share. Even that was enough to make me feel like I'm naked in front of you. <laughs> By the way, I haven't ordered anything. What are you having tonight? Hot chocolate. With ginger and cinnamon. I heard that's a good drink for a bitter heart. Everyone's getting... <clears throat> so deep with their drink orders. Here you go. You're a pretty rom romantic person, huh? Spending extra time decorating this drink. Only for special people and special drinks. Say, hey, Jason. Tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Anything. How old are you? Old enough to open a coffee shop. <laughs> oh, man. I guess I should say sorry for asking that. It's alright. That's the only answer I can give. Now you're making me wonder. What should I ask next? That's a new face. Hello, everyone. Why are you both looking at me like that? Freya, you look... horrible. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I'm going to have to echo our dear barista. Yeah, you do. What happened? You'd better be asking about what didn't happen. Because the answer would be proper sleep. And a decent progress on my draft. You need to rest. And miss my deadline? Hell no! Sorry, Baileys. I won't be able to keep you company, because I have to finish this thing. And for that. I'll need a whole hell of a lot of espresso. Are you sure about that? You really should just rest. It's something that help you sleep. Espresso! Please. Please. Could I have given her something and just put her to sleep? <laughs> I don't 
want to do this. You really need to have a rest, Freya. Just give me the damn espresso. Okay? Ah. This will keep me from falling asleep. Ugh. How was the meeting? It was pretty good. I got a lot of good advice. But that also means things. And not a small number of number of them, mind you. Need to be rewritten. Oh. Oh. It's not that bad. Rewriting is part of the process. It's just that. It's just. I'm going to my usual corner. Thanks to your coffee. It, I might make it through the night. She looks horrible. <laughs> she does. But don't worry about her. <clears throat> She'll finish it. This isn't the first time she's acted like this? No. No. But this time, the stakes are pretty high. Huh. So, what brings you here today? I'm not even sure myself. I had no plans tonight. And this place just came to mind. Out of the blue. I'll have to thank your subconscious. Cut the subconscious then. I guess you should. Not sure whether I should thank it or not, though. Hi, Lua. Hi, Baileys. How... You first. No, you first. I was just gonna ask, how are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. How about you? I'm good, yeah. Um, I think I need to order something first. Oh, of course, of course. Go ahead. Hi, Jason. What are you having this evening, Miss Lua? Gingerbread coffee, please. grandma used to make this drink for me. It reminds me so much of her. It reminds me of when I was growing up with my family. How's work? It's going pretty okay. You? I'm not taking any new jobs on at the moment. Because, well, you know. Yeah. I get it. You have enough in your savings, right? That's a very Lua thing to ask. But yeah, I do. Thanks to the last annoying job. It went well in the end. It kinda did. They paid me on time, at least. And the pay was amazing. How long are you planning to take a break for? I don't know. Until my problems are settled, I guess. What problems are those? I'll tell you this. But don't tell anyone, okay? Not even Jason, who's standing in front of us. Not even Jason. Okay. So there's this girl. I love her. We've been going out for a few years. But I'm not really sure where we stand now. How can you not be sure? We had an argument about a week ago. It wasn't anything new. But somehow, things escalated uncontrollably. Why is that? I assume both of us were just tired knowing that we're fighting against centuries of tradition. We haven't really talked since our last fight. Leaving things unresolved is not a good idea. But I can't bring myself to start the conversation. Why? Even I'm not sure about that. Pride, maybe? Or tiredness? Or knowing that chances are we won't be able to find the best solution for everyone anyway? I have a question. Go ahead. What do you think she's feeling right now? To be honest, I don't know. 
He's not like me, that's for sure. Thankfully. Why? At least it won't affect her professional life that much. I'm glad I'm a freelancer. It means I can just take a break from work without so many problems. I'm not as professional as her, you see. I think you're wrong. Really? If I were her, I would find it difficult to live life as usual. I but I'd put on but I'd put on a lot of masks. Just to hide the feelings I was going through. That sounds difficult and uncomfortable. It is. But a friend told me once, you gotta do what you gotta do. He must be a pretty cool guy. He is. What's next for us, Bailey's? I don't know, Lua. I... I met some new people this week. Including that supermodel? You knew? That girl in the corner told me. Yeah, including that supermodel. And how does that make you feel? Like a fool. What? He said a lot of things that I've been trying to avoid thinking about. A lot of... truths. He's a bit like you, you know. Attitude-wise. You'd get along with him. Doubt it. Opposites attract, but similarity breeds contempt. Ever heard that before? A lot. I'm a certain hipster elf. And after listening to that guy, what's your stance on, you know, us? I'm not sure, Bailey's. What about you, yourself? Had any similar experiences this week? I have, in fact. You met a vampire and I met a werewolf. <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds indeed? What did your werewolf say? Huh. Not much, to be honest. But he made a good point about the importance of family. Bailey's. I know I've been stubborn about you wanting to me to make peace with my family. And I know why that's very important for you. But Freya said something that kind of hit me hard. What was it? I was just using you as an excuse to escape my family. When I actually want to do that anyway. For myself. You know me, Baileys. I do. You know how... I feel uncomfortable with people leaving their families. Which makes me an asshole, I guess. I get why you think that way, Lua. Blood is thicker than water. What should we do? Lua. Yes, Baileys. Please let me leave my family. I'll try to get your family to accept me. That sounds like the easier thing to do, after all. But you'll lose your immortality. You'll be an outcast among other elves. Outcast from a bunch of overly pretentious people? Sounds great. You'll live a long time, but you won't have the perfect health and perfect life that's the elven privilege. But it's not a perfect life without you. What if our relationship doesn't last? You'll have lost everything. You'll blame me. Lua, I will never blame you for anything. If we're talking about who I used to be, that guy would never have blamed himself. A hundred reasons for why something failed, but never anything to do with him. That won't happen with us. You know why? Because I've learned so many things by being with you for ten years. It made me a better person. So you don't need to worry about any of that. Because right now, you're the most important part of my life. I don't need an immortal life. Because without you, it won't be a life worth living. Bailey's. I... I believe in you. <laughs> That's cute. Lua, Baileys. I feel like we're living in a soap opera. 
It seems so... It, oh, it seems so. So what's our plan? Tomorrow's Saturday. Are we going on a date? I'm going to my parents' place. Oh. And I want you to come with me. What? That's so sudden. Do you already have plans for tomorrow? Well, no. It's just... Not prepared to meet them. <laughs> You'll be fine. You don't want to tell them about this first? It'll be alright. Well... They never forbade you from dating other races? They're not big fans of elves, that much is true. But you can prove them wrong. Huh. Okay. This could be a good first step. It is. It's set then. I don't know what'll happen tomorrow. But we can think about it. And anything else, later. I'm with you on that. So, does that mean you don't mind me? I had my doubts. But now I'm sure. I can trust you. Lua. Thank you. Are you still staying at the at Farron's house? Yeah. You're staying with me tonight. Huh? <laughs> what about your roommate? She's away for the weekend. Taking a long weekend getaway until Sunday night. Wait, is she roommates with, uh... Is she roommates with... Uh, Aqua? Fate is on our side, it seems. Hey, Jason. Yes? We're leaving. Thank you so much for keeping up with us this past week. The pleasure was mine. We're off then. See you. Thank you for coming. That was pretty intense. Oh, you're back in real world. I just pretend not to notice. They're like one of the main reasons why I'm writing this story. So I have to see their struggle through till the end. It's important for the writing, you know. That's cold. What? It's not like that. It's just that... Yeah, that was cold. I'm sorry. You look better than before, though. For now. I can't tell you how I feel until it's done. And I don't... Over here this wolf is that him i think so welcome sir are you crazy you can't treat a werewolf in a fury like a normal customer trust me he must have his reasons for coming here Something to calm you down, maybe? <laughs> I like this music. Here's your... Really him? After seeing the reaction to the drink, 100%. Well, whoever he is.
This place survived. Thankfully, yes. But I need to... I think I need to close up early. <laughs> Don't want to cause any more ruckus. And I need to clean up some of the mess anyway. Good idea. Can you get back all right by yourself? I'll manage. Take care on your way back. You be careful too. See you tomorrow. See you. Tea with milk mixed by pouring the two repeatedly between cups. Originally from Malaysia. Weird Sign Company criticized for unfair depictions of werewolf in their latest box office hit. Couchella 2020 Do's and Don'ts. Atlantic Ambassador in Talks with Fire regarding immigration. Welcome. Good evening, Freya. Oh. Hi. When was the last time you slept? I still sleep like a normal person, you know. I slept for six hours. I? No, I've slept for six hours this week. That's not healthy. Get some rest, really. I can rest when it's done. That's stupid. Oh, shut up. What's your plan now? Now, as in right at this moment? I'm planning to go to the bathroom and wash my face. I need to make sure I don't look like a dead woman walking. And after that, I'll continue writing. Right. Oh, well, you know where the bathroom is. Okay, I need something to drink now. Freya, you're unemployed. Don't waste your money on coffee shop drinks. That is so weird. Coming from the coffee shop owner. I know. You've been a regular here for years. If you only need the vibes of this place, just right here. No, I can't do that. They don't have any customers tonight. What would I do if this place went bankrupt? It won't happen. How can you be so sure? Just take this tap water and go do your work, okay? But... See, there's a customer coming right now. So don't you worry about me. Oh. Hi, Gala. What's wrong? I know you're a man of few words, but this is maybe pushing it a bit. Freya, Jason, I'm truly very sorry for what happened yesterday. Gala, hey, it's all right. No one got hurt, right? And the coffee shop's fine. Don't think about it too much, Gala. Like Freya said, no casualties and no problems with the coffee shop. I still need to redeem myself for the mess I made, and the scare I gave you. I'm sure there's something I can do. Huh. Why don't you buy something for the lady here? I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Hey, what do you mean? You want anything to drink, Freya? No. It's alright, Gala. I insist. You don't have to. Please accept it. At least it'll help me stop feeling so guilty. At least a little. All right, all right. I wouldn't mind a coffee, not an espresso, mind you. Something with a little less of a kick. You know how to make sugar and spice? The one with cinnamon? Yes. A cup of sugar and spice, please. What is that, a honey and cinnamon? Yeah. Sugar and spices for the lady with the vices. Hey! Oh well, I won't complain. Thank you, Gala. Don't mention it. Jason, are you sure there's nothing I can do for you? You don't have to do anything, Gala. It's fine. But to be honest, I'm curious. What happened yesterday? 
Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, you usually stay indoors during the full moon, don't you? You usually do. But there was an emergency at the hospital yesterday. What kind of emergency? Huh. The hospital was really packed yesterday after that announcement. Announcement? The one saying that a replacement government issued Fury sedative will be available soon. Releasing that news on the day of the full moon was just uh, stupid. So many rare, restless werewolves came, asking about the sedative, which isn't ready yet. But the announcement said it wasn't ready. Just that it was coming soon. You think people read the whole article? They only saw the headline or glanced at it with the news at the, at a, at the news stall. Then they went straight to the hospital. I don't blame them though. Finding out that the only publicly available sedative is dangerous, it's difficult for some people. I ended up having to explain it to dozens of werewolves. I even had to put some rogue werewolves in isolation rooms. It was that bad, huh? Yeah, to the point that we ran out of rooms to put them in. That's why at the end of my shift, I left immediately. Normally, I'd have asked a friend to lock me in one of the isolation rooms, of course, but I couldn't. So I rushed right back to my apartment. But it was too late. Thankfully, I was in this area, and I managed to force myself to come to your place. Uh, excuse me for asking this. Yes. But you didn't hurt anyone on the way here, right? As far as I remember, no. I didn't see any blood on my clothes. That's good to hear. This might sound overly confident, considering what happened yesterday. But I have enough control to make sure I don't hurt anyone. As long as I have something to direct my fury towards. Usually, I end up destroying stuff around me. Or, worst case, hurting myself. Despite all of that, I'm still glad that no one got hurt. Always looking for the positive side, aren't you? Just doing my job. Thanks, both of you. I really mean it. But please, if there's anything I can do to pay you back... I mean... If there's anything I can do to help, please don't hesitate to ask me right away. Will do. In the meantime, can I order a drink? Sure, what do you have in? The same as yesterday. your special brew. Thank you. The drink that saved me. Once again, thank you for helping me find this drink. By the way, Gala, now that you can be 100% sure that the drink is your natural sedative, why don't you put some in a bottle and carry it with you everywhere? That's the plan. It has to be warm, though. I can use a vacuum flask, I suppose. I'll give it a try next full moon. Don't worry, Freya. I'm going to stay at my place for the next full moon. I'm not taking any risks. Before I can make sure how effective that remedy is. Oof. What the? R Rachel? What's going on? Ah. What else? Your father, of course. What the hell was he thinking? Coming backstage at Couchella? Just to get into an argument with my manager? Uh-huh. Before we continue, Jason, a cafe latte, please. Oh gosh, I actually haven't had to do any of this in a very long time. It's literally nothing. Ah, 
How did he manage to get backstage? He told security he was my father, and he messaged me about coming beforehand. Said he was just joining to wish me luck. So I told him to let him in, of course. He's still my father. Things were nice at first. Then my manager came, and... Ugh. I don't know why he hates him so much. It's showbiz. I'm not sure enough to know what's good or bad for me. What happened after that? Mr. Lester told security guards to kick him out. He's still allowed in the festival area, and I saw him in the crowds. Did the concert go well at least? Oh, yeah. Other than the arguments backstage, everything was great. I was the first one to play on the main stage. Usually no one pays much attention to whoever is on first. But there were thousands of people in the audience during my session. Nice. So you don't need to be at the event anymore after this. Not really. I did my stage time. And then there was this press conference after my show. After show press conference? Yeah, the pre-show was done yesterday. Today was a small one. There were almost a dozen journalists who wanted to in who wanted to interview me. So we decided to just do a mini conference. Good for you. You're totally back in the game, huh? I guess I am. Thanks to Mr. Lester. I would say it's because of you. But your managers probably work some of his influence too. <laughs> so why are you here? Ugh. Because of Dad, of course. I told him to come here this evening. We really need to set things straight. He needs to stop messing with my manager so much. And because this evening is the only time we can meet, I can't go to the party Mr. Lester is hosting. What party? He's hosting a party for the VIPs and artists he manages at a club in Belltown. Is it okay for you to go to the party without a guardian? I'm 18, remember? I'm an adult. Yeah, but you can only enter some clubs if you're 21. Not this time. Because Mr. Lester's my manager and it's his party. Hmm. Not sure about that. It's true! No, I know you can do that by using his name, but I don't think he should do that with you. Why? I'm in a... No, you're not. You're not, Rachel. Have you ever been to one of Lester's parties? Well, no. You have? Not personally. I've heard stories. What stories? He knows how to party. That's good, then. Uh, it's not necessarily a good thing. Knowing how to party might mean something else entirely. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You'll find out, especially if you keep Lester on as your manager. Personally, I don't mind wild parties, but inviting an underage person to his party, that might be a bit too far. Welcome, huh? <laughs> um, <meow. laughs> oh, he looks cute as a cat with his little mustache. What the hell? Oh no. Dad! Oh, he's been beaten up. Is that like a black eye? What? Rachel, is that Mr. Henry? Yes! Dad! What happened? Jason, can you get a cup of milk from him, please? Just milk? Just milk! Meow! <laughs> Here. <laughs> Thank you. Dad, please hold on. Can somebody help me call an ambulance, please? They're on the way. I've contacted the hospital. Thank you. I've also contacted our Neko Mimi expert personally. She's off shift right now, but she's also on the way. Thank you so much. I don't know what might have happened without your help. Don't mention it. <clears throat> Here they come. I'll go with you. Okay. Oh boy! That was really something, huh? 
Yeah. Two days in a row. An emergency at your place. Well, at least some people think of your place as their go-to when they need help. You're right. It's not every day you look at things from the bright side. Huh. Well, I'm one of your coffee shop dis disciples, right? So I kind of understand them. I hope Henry's all right. Me too. At least he's in good hands now. What's your plan for the rest of the night? Well, that was all pretty hectic. But I need to continue writing. Take your time and place then. Will do. It seems like we're getting to like shorter nights after like a long run of especially long nights. Curious. Okay, so are we just like really close to the end? That's sort of my, my question here. Because it seems like we're going to do tonight and then have two weeks and then the 18th and then it's done. Police raid private Count Shella after party is... Police raid on... Al on private Couchella after party, his biggest drug and sex related bust of this year. Oh, <laughs> the guy's got like a bite on his ass. Fight broke out during Couchella, culprits in police custody. Despite the arrest, Couchella will go on. <clears throat> Welcome. Hey, Pop. Good evening, everyone. Everyone safe and sound tonight? So far, so good, officer. With the cop who's supposed to be watching this area and hanging out in the coffee shop, I'm not so sure about that. Hey, I'm working right now. I just love multitasking, you know. That requires skill. Taking a break and working at the same time, you mean? You know it. That's an oxymoron. That's why I said it requires skill. Anyway, Jason, I really need an espresso to keep me awake tonight. An energetic espresso to keep our officer upright on patrol. Hey, <laughs> you and your sense of humor. Your espressos are always out of this world. Definitely better than mine or my wife's. Not a competition officer. <laughs> it is for her. She thought if she could make me, a, if she could make a better one, I'd stop coming to this place so often. <laughs> That's not happening anytime soon. So, anything special today? Surprisingly, no. Gotta make sure this place is safe, though. What are you grinning at? I, I mean it. You were here the last two days, right? Yes, I was. And some crazy things happened here. And two days in a row. As if the gods were trying to give me a first-hand experience. The use of my story. Still fretting over your story, eh? Well, deadline for my draft is getting nearer. Oh, yeah. What? How's it going? Quantity-wise, it's shaping up pretty well. <clears throat> Quality wise, honestly, I'm pretty confident. Oh, I'm pretty confident. Best of luck then. Do you have any updates about the last two days of chaos? For the werewolf case, I spoke to Gala about it. What? Are you going to arrest them? Some officers at the precinct were talking about it, but in the end, we agreed not to do it. Because he really helped a lot that night. We asked the folks in the hospital, and some other people in the area. Without him, we'd have had a lot more problems. He helped out a lot. Getting most of the werewolves safe in the hospital? Too bad he couldn't lock himself up in time. Thankfully, he didn't hurt anyone. So, those who'd rather detain him can't do anything anyway. Whew. I'd be pretty mad at you if they did arrest him. 
Hey, being mad at me wouldn't solve anything. I know. What about Rachel's dad? Any idea what happened? Not too sure myself. Most of it didn't happen around here. What? Yeah, it seems like it happened out near Couchella. That's a long way away. I mean, it's not exactly that far. But he wouldn't be able to walk it, not in that state. So far, that's all I know. Rachel. Rachel, is Mr. Henry all right? Before that, could I have a cup of hot chocolate? Dark. Your hot chocolate's ready. Thank you. Dad's going to be fine. He woke up this afternoon. Thanks to Mr. Gala. He got help fast enough to stop things getting worse. Doing, he's doing okay then? It'll take a few days before he fully recovers, but no permanent injuries we need to worry about. That's good to hear. I know. But still, it's all because of me. Because I didn't listen to him. And all he wanted was to do, to do was protect me. Rachel, don't blame yourself for this. Please don't take offense. But is it okay for you to leave your father alone in the hospital? His friends are there at the moment. And I can't face being stuck in a room with a bunch of people I don't even know right now. Besides, I really needed to get away for a bit. So I told Dad I'm going to visit the coffee talk to get some fresh air. He's okay with that? He understands. He always does, I guess. Miss Rachel, what really happened last night? Dad got into a fight with some thugs. He heard them talking about me. In some very suggestive, perverted ways. Oh. He didn't like that, of course. So he morphed into his cat form and started a fight with the thugs. Why did he morph? So people wouldn't see what his human form looked like. And link him directly to me. Some cops went to the crime scene. They found some eyewitnesses to testify. And they managed to find the thugs. Are they fans of yours? No. It's even worse. They work for Mr. Lester. What? Oh boy. The reason why it didn't take long for the cops to find them was because they were already under arrest. Because the party went too far last night. Whoa. How did it all connect up? They're Mr. Lettister's bodyguards. They were chilling after the show, having a pre-party before the big one. And you know about guys in locker room talk, right? Yeah. Well, that's what they were doing. And I was the topic of topic of discussion. Ugh. So there's that. I'm sorry to hear that. You were right about his party. I'm glad I wasn't there. Once again, I owe Dad for... Hey, it's okay. The most important thing right now is that you're safe. And your dad made it through. I should have listened to him. He might be out of touch. But he's still way more experienced than me. And he's my father. I wish Mom was here. She'd know what to do. She'd know what to say to Dad when he's recovered. You know what? I'm sure you'll know what to do. You're an adult, remember? But I don't know. All I know is I have to be there for him when... That's it. That's all you have to do. It might be weird to hear it about something coming from Freya. But she is right. <laughs> Be there when he needs you, Rachel. And whenever you need a breath of fresh air, you can come here and relax for a while. Guys, thank you. I've had enough fresh air for one day. I'll go back to the hospital now. Thank you for the update, Miss Rachel. I wish your father a speedy recovery. Thank you, Jason. Man, 
What a weekend. Pretty crazy, I know. Anyway, I've got to continue my control. It's been a pretty weird weekend. But overall, things are still safe around here. But even if that, never let your guard down, okay? No problem, officer. Thank you for checking up uh, on us, Officer Georgie. Okay then, see you. Are you going to leave as well, Freya? I don't think so. I've had enough rest. I have stories to write. You're not, you're not tired? Definitely not. In fact, I think I can get it done today. Ah, oh, all right. I won't bother you then. Oh, you're never a bother. Besides, the whole this whole book project would never have have existed without this place. And you. So, thank you. The pleasure was mine. I'm sure you don't spend any more time on chit-chat. You've got a book to finish. <laughs> No problem, boss. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Two weeks later. This might be the end. More women have spoken out and claim Morris Lester lied. Initial reports indicate possible herpes outbreak at Coachella. <laughs> Coachella Festival proves to be a major boost for Seattle tourism. We're gonna have a packed house today. Hello! You're finally here. Hey, y'all. Hey, yo. Hi, friend. Uh, someone's happy today. Of course, did they? They approved it! We're so happy for you. Congrats. Oh my. You know how happy I am? Judging from your expression, I'd say somewhere between aesthetically and rapturously. You're goddamn right. Oh my god, oh my god. How did they react to the draft? Surprisingly, they liked it. Amazing. I know, right? I couldn't believe it either. They told me if the book sells well, they'll definitely sign me for a second book. So happy for you. Anyway, whatever happens with the book now, I can take things a little slower. Because they gave me a year to finish it, with a feedback session every month. Sounds professional enough. Of course! They are the biggest publisher around. Enough about me. How's the coffee shop been doing? It's been great. You've had a lot of new customers lately. And some old-timers, of course. I heard Hyde's back from his trip in, to Korea. Oh, I heard Hyde's back from his trip to Korea? Yeah, he brought us some gifts back. He didn't get any for me? I'm not sure, but he did say. He always gives gifts directly. Gift-giving the old-fashioned way, huh? How about you? Things are great. The last time I saw you was before your mini break. Yes, we decided to go to Coachella. Wow! The event was a mess. <laughs> yeah, three hours at the festival was enough for us. So where did you go after that? We ended up at, in uh, Port Townsend. How was it? I enjoyed it. Never knew a historical trip could be fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw your new profile picture, Aqua. You both look so cute. I, I, I want to see. Is it there? Oh, she's got a new one. Hers is new too, I think. So is his? No. I think hers is new.
Oh, <laughs> that is cute. Oh, he's with his daughter. Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks. Was that taken dur during your vacation? No. It was at Max. They had a Japanese-style photo booth there, so I forced her to take a picture together. You were at Max too, Myrtle? Yeah. I helped her out a bit with the booth. Thank you. You don't have to keep thanking me. By the way, have any of you heard from Neil? No. Not me. They did send two postcards to the, co to, to the coffee shop. Really? One's from Couchella. That's not even that far away. Why oh, send a postcard? Hard to tell with them. What about the second one? It's from New York. What? What are they doing in New York? Beats me. Working on their mission, maybe. <laughs> yeah, probably. They stand more of a chance there. Anyway, guys, we're leaving for the night. Oh, come on. So soon? We were here for hours before you arrived. And we need to work tomorrow. Fair enough. Take care on your way, then. <clears throat> Good luck with the novel. Thanks. See you, Jason. See you around. They make a cute little couple. If that's the direction they're going with it. They look happier than when I first met them. They do. It's not easy to find someone you can be comfortable with. Wait, who said what there? That's, that's weird. They look happier than when I first met them. They do. That feels like that's an answer to something. But the wrong person answered. In such a short amount of time. Yeah. Anyway. Sorry if it seems like I'm ignoring you, Baileys. No worries. I don't feel ignored at all. Are you by yourself tonight? No, I'm waiting for Lua. She has some work to do. This late at night? Yeah. She's been doing overtime for the past few days. How are the two of you doing? Things have been great. In fact, after 10 years together, we're finally moving in together next month. Wow, congrats. But I thought... Lua lives with her flatmate. Uh, we're moving to a new place. She got promoted recently. And her company's providing her with an apartment. Wow, she must be a really big deal in her office. Well, she certainly earns more than me. That's not saying much, Baileys. <laughs> you should say that to a fellow freelancer. Oh, here she comes. Baileys, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect it to take so long. I thought it would be done by... Honey, it's alright. Freya and Jason have been keeping me company anyway. Oh, hey, Freya. And Jason. Sorry for barging in without saying hi. How's it going? I would say things are great. But not as great as you two lovebirds. <laughs> you told her already? Only about the moving in part. <laughs> as you've heard, we're going to move in together next month. Where is it? Not far. I mean, the company provided the place, so they want to cut my commuting costs as much as possible. Well, that's thoughtful of them. It means they don't need to reimburse my taxi fees when I'm working overtime. <laughs> oh yeah, that too. It also means we get to visit this place more often. Well, that's a good point. We owe this coffee shop a lot anyway. Don't mention it. I have a question for you both, for the both of you. Go on. The last time we met, I believe you were going to introduce Baileys to your parents. How did it go? Man, your father didn't kill me at least. Well, at least Papa let you eat lunch with us. That's rare, you know. I know. And at least they didn't say no, which means a lot, I guess. It was a good start. It was definitely a good start. Anyway, Baileys, we need to go now. Or I'll miss the intro again. <laughs> you folks going somewhere? Yeah, we're gonna watch the midnight screening of Full Middle Conflict. 
I didn't take you for someone who likes FMC, Lua. I don't, but this guy loves it. Hey, you always enjoyed watching me playing the game. I had enjoyed watching you, not the game. Too bad I didn't introduce you, introduce you to Myrtle just now, Baileys. She worked on the game. Really? Oh well, I'll be visiting this place more often. I'll probably meet her again, one of these days. You probably will. Now go, you lovebirds. You don't want to miss the movie. All right, catch up with you later, Freya. Bye, Jason. Enjoy the movie. <clears throat> there they go. I'm so happy for them. They've still got a long way to go, and probably a lot of obstacles in their path. But they're moving forward. Yes. How will you write their story? As it is, it's beautiful enough. And it has enough drama. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Anyway. What's to look for? You haven't told me about any of your any of our other friends here. How are they doing? You only skipped coming for ten days. What do you expect? Come on, they played an important part in my writing process, remember? Well, there are some updates about the regulars. Tell me, tell me. Where should we start? Lou will visit this place more often now than they, that they live nearby. The last time they came, they were talking about catering and venues. I'd returned from his trip to Korea and brought gifts. Some are more special than others. He said he's considering moving back to Seattle, if his agency allows it. Aqua continues her work with the university. She's still working on small indie games. The difference is, she's not alone now. Neil. <laughs> the only news about their superhero breeding mission are the two postcards they sent me. Rachel's back at the recording studio preparing for her first solo album. She found a new manager, someone who made the news as a legend coming back into the industry. And finally, Freya. She finished her book, got published, and have some signing sessions. It was a massive success. Sold out after the first month. Oh, damn it. I was, I was caught by the typo. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It is a cute game. I like it. It's a nice little, nice little, nice little story. You don't really have to do much. I think it's it's all just about brewing the drinks properly, right? Jason. Good evening, sir. Um, have we met before? I'm sure this is your first time here. Of course I've been here. In fact, I've worked here before. What? Wait. No way. Is that really you? It's been a while. You've changed a bit too much. I've learned a lot about how to live with your people since then. Oh, is this Neil? I assume it was a success then. Multiple successes. What's with the new look? She kind of... Okay, is it that she has like parts of like everybody? Or a lot of people? Just trying to blend in. 
It seemed like an Earthling immigration agency is after me. <laughs> now that you mention it, somebody did visit this place looking for you. When was it? Not so long after your second visit here. Was he a bald guy in a suit? Yes. That F-I-R-E agent. You seen him? Yes. Thankfully, I've changed my appearance since then. By the way, you can drop the act in front of me. So you finally noticed? To think that such power can be born from our kind. You're good with your act, though. It took a few tries. But there are some timelines where I... Where I forget to pretend that I don't have... Some knowledge of certain stuff. <laughs> Interesting. Now I'm curious to know about those mistakes. Well, it happened a few times. First, when Freya told me about her meeting in the elevator. Then it was the first time Rachel visited this place. And the last one involved you on your second visit. Huh? Oh, and there, there was another one right after Freya got her draft approved. Can you show it to me? Assuming you know how to communicate with my kind. Never tried it, but let's see. Meet the main story of the game, but you haven't seen everything yet. What? What? I kind of like that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Somebody seems to like this Lua character. this one. Okay, that makes Bailey's look like a Dragon Ball Z character. super interesting. Also, there's comics that are really good. Like, they're well drawn, and they're very interesting. I, I like them a lot. Uh, I didn't get all the achievements. I'm close.
Okay, so I guess it's hinted at that I'm Neil's kid. Or a time traveler. I guess this might be something that I'll do like on my own sometime. But uh, yeah, apparently there's like a different ending. Um, I think I got like, not like the worst ending, I got like middle ending. <laughs> um. But I guess most of it is just, it's all based on just like getting all of the drinks right. So, yeah. How about that? Um, but it was a pretty good game. I enjoyed this. It was super fun. Um, definitely different. It's like, it doesn't overtly give you like what you would say would be, would be choices. It's all just... Um, it's all just the drinks. If you make the drinks wrong, then, oh, that's your, that was your chance. Also, I'm curious about something. So, I guess there's like a, a thing for listening to... All the music. But she didn't imagine that I already have gotten. I got to 43 on this. <laughs> Unlock all special drinks. Wait. Oh. I didn't play it to conclusion? Wait, that doesn't make sense. And I also wonder if by listening to like all the music, it means like you actually had to listen to all the songs, <laughs> like all the way through. That's pretty good music though. Just kind of like jazzy and chill.
How many songs does this guy do? <laughs> Calming drizzle. Okay. It smells good. I think I'm back at the beginning now. No, I don't think so. Or is it just... Shuffling. confused now because it says I've only got nine achievements, but this one says 18. Something's wrong here. <laughs> It says unlock all the cheat. What the fuck is going on here? This one makes sense because, wait, Surf it. what? This doesn't make sense. It makes it look like certain achievements are unlocked that I haven't unlocked. I don't understand. What the hell? play this on my own and sort of figure out what's going on uh but until then i'm gonna go <laughs> rather than sitting here looking at the menu screen forever um thanks for watching much appreciated i enjoyed playing this it was a nice chill little thing to play um i guess i'll have to figure something else to play now i have an idea i just don't know if i want to play it <laughs> uh i'll figure it out sooner than later. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. The fuck is going on with this game? <laughs>